All right, so I've been planning on making this video for a while now and didn't get the chance because I was kind of putting it off. But on May 20th, I officially reached 100 subscribers for Plus Alpha Film channel. And I just want to say thank you for those who have supported me. There were many comments that were very kind and made me motivated to actually do, kept actually keep on pushing myself to push out content. So since April, April 20th, I decided to post content every single day. It was a short form content that I've been posting every day. And I guess that really helped push my channel to a lot of you guys who watch my channel and found something that was insightful. It really motivated me to make more content and push myself further and further. Right now I'm raising a family and managing time is very difficult, especially if while I'm doing my client work as well. So spending time with my family, doing, doing my usual client work and making my own YouTube content or short form content for my social medias and stuff really challenges you to manage time a lot. So it's been a really good experience for me. I thought I was going to get burned out during the process, but instead of getting burned out, I actually have a better mindset when it comes to creating content, even if it's something that's um, been done before. I wouldn't say it's fresh, but it's something that I'm interested in and something I hope that you find, find interest in and found insightful of so that you can gain something out of it. So that's what I've been doing, making content for that. Sometimes I do kind of um, lose track of time and dish out content um, at the last minute. Sometimes it's not something that I'm like a talking, like some of them are talk, were talking heads, some of them were tutorials, but some were um, B-rolls of what I was trying to showcase. But putting out the, those content and seeing the reactions and seeing the analytics of it, it's a really good way to get data of what kind of content actually works and what doesn't work. So it's been a very good, uh, very good process for me. But yeah, once again, thank you for the 100 subs. I really want to keep on pushing myself forward, keep on going. So I want to make this channel more of a way to kind of uh, motivate people to make content more because I didn't come from a film background. I started making content when I came back to Tokyo to work for a production company, Japanese production company. And since then, I've, I've never, I didn't know a single thing about filmmaking, didn't know a single thing about TV making TV shows and stuff, um, editing especially. Uh, I only did a, like a very simple slideshow edits when I was in uh, university. So seeing myself doing that and seeing myself now, knowledge I have now is very, uh, it's crazy. There's so much gear out there that you can use to improve your, improve your, the, improve the way you film. So. Of, um, I'm hoping to do more of those kind of content in the future as well. So I'm trying to um, test out a lot of different things in the on the channel right now. I can speak both Japanese and English. So right now I decided to kind of make more Japanese based content with using Japanese to see what how the algorithm will react in a way. Um, I've been posting a bunch of English um, content for the Western viewers. So kind of switched it once more to see if, um, see what kind of reaction the algorithm will give me. What if I make it as Japanese content, Japanese speaking content. So I will have, um, English subtitles within the Japanese content as well, so that all of you can follow along. So if you can bear with me, uh, the test. Um, I really appreciate it for the support that you can give me. So those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. Thank you for watching. My name is Masashi. I've been creating content here in Japan for roughly nine years now. And if you like what you see, if you like to follow along on my journey, um, hit that like and subscribe button. Really appreciate it. But yeah, today I just wanted to say not just uh, talk about where the channel is going to be headed, 
but I just want to give back to you guys. I made 10 text presets on DaVinci Resolve that you can use on your project for free. So I'm going to show you what they are and how you can use it on your project. So let's hop right into DaVinci Resolve. Okay, so these are the presets that I made. Um, I have it on the fold. I have it on my effects folder. It is named my text animation right now, but you could name it however you want. I'm going to show you how you can um, import it into your project right now. So first go into your fusion page and then click on the effects tab. Go down to op collab, open templates, edit, then go into your title page. Right click on title and open it. It should say show folder and then click on that. This will um, show the location of where you can place your folder, custom preset folder on DaVinci Resolve. So in this case it's titles and there are three folders right here. Um, if you have nothing inside it, there will be nothing in here. So in this case, for sake of the, the showing, uh, make a new folder, name it whatever you want. I'll name it 10 text animation. And right here, if you downloaded my presets, go into the full the location where you downloaded it. In this case, I'll have it in my SSD. Choose all the file then drag it into the folder that you made. And once you do that, if you look at DaVinci Resolve Fusion page, all your text animation that you downloaded will be in this. So whatever you name it, it'll be right here. And then whatever you put in it, everything will be right here as well. So I'm going to show you what each of these texts are. Uh, first text, what I named it is bottom fade in text. Basically, it's like a simple fade in of the text. The second one is box reveal, box text reveal. The next one is directional text. And then another one is the flickering text. And this one is the glow effect. This is the Gaussian text reveal. And then this one, they're just it's just a glowing text. It's similar to the flickering one. It's just I made it uh, non-flicker and just a glow version of it. This one's a pop out wog uh, wobble. It's a wobble, but it's wobble with text. This one is the uh, text spacing reveal. This one's a write on text. This one's a simple animation. Um, you could really make it easily. I just pre-made it so that you could do it. You could use it. You could just change the text to whatever you want and just use it. So I'm going to show you what how you can change the text on each of these. Every one of them are the same. Just go into the Fusion page. On the Fusion page, everything will be in a group. The reason why I group these together is because unless you group them together, whenever you um, save a preset and then put it in DaVinci, for some reason, it only connects to the first node in the fusion page so in order to get around that i had to group them together and this is the result i got there might be a better way to edit the text inside the edit page as well but i'm still learning still kind of getting the tour uh tweaking some stuff out so if there are any problems that you face during while you're using the presets that you downloaded let me know down in the comments and i will try to update it as much as i can I do want to make it easier, so I'm still working on that. So bear with me um, on this. Um, if you have any insight on it, please let me know. But yeah, uh, so go, so click on template and then you should be able to customize your text to whatever you want. In this case, 10 and animation and you see that goes in like this. So whatever you want, you could change the text, the font, um, the color of the text as well. And all these stuff are available to for you to change. If for some reason you want to change the timing as well, you could also do that as well. Um, the node will be there and all the keyframe will be there as well. The next one is box reveal text. Um, they're going to fuel into fusion page. It will be like this. Um, this one, the template, the place that says template is the text, so you could change the text to whatever you want. 
the only problem here is that I didn't make it so the box will um, change with the text. So if you go over, for example, box text reveal test, then as you can see right here, it the, everything's not in the box. So the best way to do is to change the size of the text and you should be able to fit everything in. And you could pop, you could do it up to two lines in total. So that should be no problem right there. Next is the directional text. This one has in and out point as well. So you could stretch this as, as well because it's keyframe stretcher. Um, same thing, you could change the text, the font on um, however you want, any language that you want. But yeah, these are 10 presets that I made for you guys to use on your project. Let me know in the comments um, if there are any problems or if you have any questions regarding the presets. Thank you again for 100 subs. I really appreciate everyone's support and the kind words, comments that you give me. It really does motivate me to make more content and do these kind of stuff um, besides my actual client work. So as always, stay hungry, stay creative, and I'll see you on the next video.